Wait, you can transport a mud crab back to your house? Like on a plane? Like they let you do that? Like a live mud crab? Brother, in America, the FBI would have been called. I'm saying it. So here's, uh, here's, here's what I got to say. This is the video. Can a mud crab cut off your finger? Is the video why Al is the reason why Alex left early? Right now, Alex could possibly still be in the United States of America. Um, this is how's it going? This is the video. This is the reason why Alex had to leave early, and Alexar as well. So remember that. Now I've got some pretty dodgy stuff in my garage, but there's one tool I use that always scares. Wait, sorry. How you going? How you going? Now I've got some pretty dodgy stuff in my garage, but there's one tool I use that always scares me the most. Ugh, sorry mate, I've got a... This can opener, or more commonly known as the mud crab. And I've heard some wacky stories about their strength. Like this one fisherman who told me that a mud crab cut off his whole body from his finger. So today, I'm going to put mud crabs to the ultimate strength test and see if they really can cut off a human finger. Oh, whoa! Oh my god! Oh my fuck! Okay, I want to test out the mud crab's strength in three ways. First, I want to know how much a mud crab can lift and modify one of those strength grippers all the gym boys use and compare them to a mud crab's claw. Then, I want to make some replica fingers made out of ballistic gel with bones inside and put them in the claws to see what happens. And then, if it doesn't look that bad, I'll stick my own finger inside. Or, if it does look bad, I'll stick my mate's finger Wait, Saikuno? What do you mean? I know how much a mud crab can lift and modify one of those strength grippers all the gym boys use and compare them to a mud crab's claw. Then, I want to make some replica fingers made out of ballistic gel with bones inside and put them in the claws to see what happens. And then, if it doesn't look that bad, I'll stick my own finger inside. Or, if it does look bad, I'll stick my mate's finger Wait, Saikuno? What do you mean? I know how much a mud crab can lift and modify one of those strength grippers all the gym boys use and compare them to a mud crab's claw. Then, I want to make some replica fingers made out of <laughs> ballistic- <laughs> Funny. Uh, I use that gripper gel with bones inside and put them in the claws to see what happens and then if it doesn't look that bad I'll stick my own finger inside or if it does look bad I'll stick my mate's finger inside hey Alexa I made something for you so I'm going to start with making the delicious gelatin fingers and to do that I'm going to use this stuff called alginate to take a mold and you might have seen or had this stuff used on you before when you go to the dentist and they take a mold of your finger and that's what I'm going to do. So I precisely measured the powder and then mixed it with water until it changed color and poured it in a little cup before sticking in my finger. So I wanted to go the same color as that. Moment of truth, can I get my finger out? Now I'm not sure why that was such a stressful experience, but the set rate and amount of water I needed to put in changed every time I did it. But they seem to have worked and all the molds are dry. So next I took the wings off some chickens and then deboned them. You can buy boneless chicken. Could I have just bought chickenless bones? And I think that chicken bones are pretty similar to the thickness of my finger bones. But then again, I've never pulled the meat off my bones, so I don't really know. Now, last time I made these fingers, I did an 8% gelatin to water mixture, which didn't hold together too well. But this time, I'm going to follow a professional cookbook, which recommends that for a stronger flesh to do a 20% gelatin to water ratio, which should increase the bounciness and resilience of the gelatin, making it more similar to a human finger that has a chicken bone inside of it. It also recommends I shouldn't use horse gelatin, but instead use Mackenzie's gelatin, which is made presumably from Mackenzie. Okay, I started mixing it all, making sure to inhale as many gelatin spores as possible. <coughs> That's good stuff. And this got real thick quick, and reminds me of the texture of cup. So once it was all mixed up, I poured it into the finger mold, and then poked in the chicken bones, and put it in the fridge for eight hours to set. Which means I've got some time to kill. 
Speaking uh. of which, I've mm. also really been into a new mobile game, which is the sponsor of today's video, Watcher of Realms. It is an awesome next-gen fantasy RPG. Yeah, watch. This is the reason why this motherfucker left early. PG, which has high-quality audio-visual effects. It's incredibly immersive. I would say it's the new pinnacle of quality to jump into the best mobile fantasy RPG. I will wait for you in the continent tier. Download Watcher of Realms for free now. Okay, back to the mud crab fingering. And now I'm going to make the claw testing scales. And to do that, I just borrowed these grip strength scales from my mate that does roids. And to give you some reference on how strong the mud crabs are, and not because I want to show off at all, here's my hand strength. With my right, I pulled 89 kilos or 200 pounds for the Americans. With my left, I pulled 80 kilos or wo la le bao shi ju gong jing for the Chinese and 30 kilos with my cheeks. So I really hope that the mud crabs are at least as strong as my cheeks. Okay, now to modify the scale. First, <laughs> I just hit this metal bar with a hammer until it gave up and bent, then drilled holes in it and screwed it in. And that's done. And hopefully this gap is now small enough to fit inside the claws of the crab. And I'm very excited to get a digital number telling me how much claw Why does he think chicken bones are comparable to human bones, Lamau? I don't know. Why are you stuck on that part? Don't worry, it's not even gonna matter. Force crabs second. actually have, as all the numbers on the internet seem way too high, with some scientists saying they have 700 pounds of crushing force. Move but that back. doesn't seem to make sense considering how small their claws are. But then again, it might be true, as people have even done theses on this topic filled with diagrams. And this guy even went as far as jacking off a crab to find out the answer. Okay, that seemed around eight hours. So I took the molds out of my fridge and also the fingers, and then cracked them open. That is good, look at that. They're so good. Oh, my fingernails, disgusting. I don't know if you can see the details properly ah. in that, but that is... <laughs> he has the <laughs> nasty ass fingernails in there too. Oh, that's so awesome. The only man on the planet with worse fucking fingernails than me. Look at that. And these look disgusting. Ex he cut them so short. <coughs> he didn't cut them, dude. He bites them just like I do. Exactly the same as my real fingers. Now, I might look rushed during all of this, and that's because I am. And I'm unboxing stupid gelatin fingers at 2 a.m. at night when I have a flight the next morning at 5 a.m. to Queensland. And I'm going there to meet an Aussie legend and YouTuber named Willem Powerfish, who's going to hook me up with some big crabs. Because as far as I'm aware, there just aren't any muddies in Sydney besides Carl in my toolbox. <coughs> now, Willem is a strange bloke who does fishing pranks and causes trouble at the boat ramp. But his most infamous videos are probably where he walks around a construction site paying tradies to put mud crabs on their face. So he's the perfect man for this video if I can get all my fingers through airport security, which I'm now realizing might be an issue. But after a nervous 30 minutes, I got through. And I really wish I got video footage of the confusion on the x-ray operator's face when he was trying to figure out what the six finger and vibrator shaped objects were in my bag. They stopped and they, uh, they looked at it and they zoomed in and then she- That's insane. That like, not the, not the him walking around barefoot, chat which is you know that's just alex but the fact that they didn't stop him dude australian airports are wild brother in america that shit would have been he would have been the fbi would have been called okay she looked at it and then she just licked her lips like she's got that <laughs> chicken, <laughs> chicken like she's on <laughs> chicken bones and then just continued and slept through but i got through with almost all my fingers intact this is uh so what's this little ballistic finger Hang on, is that chicken in there? Chicken <laughs> what? So it was the closest bone I could find to the, the same thickness of a... What do you make this out of? Gelatin. Can you eat it? You could eat that. Really? You can have a nibble of one if you want. All right, now I thought Willem would have some mud crabs ready to go for us, but it turns out we need to catch him. And luckily, he knows a great secret muddy hole hidden away in the mangroves. Only problem was that we had to get across this old... I love his fits. This guy is just like, I feel like he last bought clothes when he was like a much younger man or something. And he's just has not changed since then. Falling apart bridge. Nah, we're not going in. We'll make it. 
Oh, it's not that bad. I'm so with heights. Oh, heights? It scares it's, heights? it's not high, but I'm just, I'm just a massive baby. Yeah. Don't cut yourself. You're doing well. We've only That's got this and then the... Who the the handles the camera for him? Why do you guys always ask these questions? It's They handle their own cameras. Like, it's Alex and Alexa together. The rest of the bridge to go. <laughs> no, the rest of the bridge is easier. carry all this stuff in and we don't even know if we're gonna catch mud crabs or not. <laughs> I mean, like, how are you gonna come back across with crabs? And after getting rust cuts on almost every one of my toes, we made it across to the other side and then headed our separate ways into the mangroves until one of us found a crab. Oh. Well, they got the fucking mud all right. For the, now, now for the cribs. Yeah, is there such a thing as quick mud? Can you get? Can you die in this? Which surprisingly <laughs> only took a couple of minutes before Willem found our first one hiding in a hole under this pipe. Oh, it's sleeping here. <laughs> is it comfortable? It's it's actually really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder all there are all these crabs here. To get the mud crab, become the mud crab. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh, oh, he's ready for you. He sees you. All right, so we've definitely found a mud crab. Look at his eyes. Look at him. Oh, he's not blowing little bubbles. Oh, it's in front of my camera. Oh. oh! He's trying to dig. Is he trying to dig? I think he's trying to get away, yeah. Should I Should I use the shovel or get nah, my hands? Nah, you get, use your hands. Like, maybe, you, are you blocking your view? I am blocking. I'll come over where you are. Can I join you in mud? This is your chance yeah. to escape, crab. While he's, while he's not watching. He's actually trying right now. He's getting deeper. So, oh, yeah, whoa, 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 he's so deep. Yeah, he's getting deep. All right, you're going to have to come in from behind. Oh! Oh, Wait, that's it. What the f***? Just, just grab the back. Back legs. You got him? Oh. Okay, this part is fucking nuts, because, like, the test is whether a, a, a mud crab could just, like, clamp your fingies, right? But I also do feel like the mud crab could just as easily clamp onto your ball sack. Like, your balls and your, your butthole and your penis, like, they are way too close to the mud crab's clampers. Some fucking nutcracker shit, you know? Oh, I lose him. Oh, he's slipping towards me, he's slipping towards me! Can I go like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's working. All right. Hell, he's massive. Where's oh, he? look at his eyes. If these things were in Florida, we would know the answer. I mean, Australia as a fucking country is very Florida coded, so I don't know. Oh, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Big boy. That's a horse. That's a big buck. They call them bucks. <laughs> yeah, big buck. You're shaking, you're right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. <laughs> this is probably one of the scariest animals I've ever touched. Yeah, they look scary as well. And I think I think just the, the pounds of pressure that these claws hold is just phenomenal, man. Like, well, if you look at that thing <laughs> compared to the rest of its body. Just look how much meat is in there. Yeah, it's that's a, the best piece. So much muscle. Let's get out of this mud. Do we need any more? I think we're, this is pretty much enough for science, right? Yeah, I think this is enough for science. Yeah, like we could we could bag out if we wanted. Yeah, oh, easy. But... Like I reckon there's easily another 800 just in here. <laughs> um, well, that's all of these air bubbles is yeah, actually a crab. Exactly. It's a crab. All right. Um, well, yeah, th that'll be enough. Yeah, no, we don't want to be greedy though. <laughs> it's like a day spa. Oh, it's look at these crabs on my foot. The little crabs. Little crabs oh. around. Around. Yeah, because you're probably just taking their mother. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get off her. <laughs> can, you, can you even get up? No. Yeah, put him down, I'll grab him. Beautiful. Clean him up. <laughs> 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 Holy <laughs> 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 What is this guy doing? There was something sharp. Oh. Don't stand there. Did you bring a change of clothes? 
Uh, nah. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought they were just like, you just catch them in like the sand or something. I mean, mud. Mud crabs. That makes sense. So I have to get back on a plane. Look at my legs. And this is way bigger than any mud crab I was expecting to find. It was also surprisingly- Wait, you can transport a mud crab back to your house? Like on a plane? Like they let you do that? Like a live mud crab? Brother, you could do 9-11 in Australia with a mud crab. It's literally like the same. I feel like it's a domestic flight. Yeah, but a mud crab is also like a box cutter. They did 9-11 with a box cutter. It's like snakes on a plane. Now, the Australian version. Ha, <laughs> crabs on a plane calm considering that a random bloke had his fingers on his ass cheeks but maybe that's what mud crabs like but it could also be the cold temperature which is a bad thing which means they might be really chilled out and not willing to squeeze as hard as they can and one crab is enough for the test but on the way back to our stuff we stumbled upon one just sitting underneath this log um i reckon that's safe to say that's a that's a mud crab well, he's big. big he's big that's it you got it? Oh my yeah. god! Oh, yeah. Whoa! That is fucking amazing. That is so Sick. big, dude. That he's massive. Holy sh and lucky for us, the second mud crab we found was a little more angry. Hey! Hey! hey. That oh. really sucks having a big crab. The first thing I wanted to test was their grip strength, and I'm hoping they get at least 50 kilos. You have reckon He almost did it. Bro, it, that is fucking nuts. Fit in there? Yes. Okay, let's just see it's working. So we just need something to tickle the um the hair. Not use. You run out of battery on this thing? No. Okay. And try tickle his hairs. Oh, he's grabbing. He's not biting. Oh, oh it's going down. Oh, 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 oh. Ten kilograms. Whoa, Twelve. Whoa, whoa, Fifteen. And I feel like crabs have more than fifteen kilos in them. So we tried the bigger guy. Oh, he's, he's got it. Whoa! Whoa. 30k, 30 kilogram. In like a second. Yeah, the, it, it's interesting. When it hits 30, it stops immediately. Yeah, he just it's like chills like a, out and- And then it stops. And 31 kilos or 70 pounds is not bad, especially considering that the crab only weighs 1.5 kilos. So it's 20 times their body weight. That's the same as me squeezing 1,800 kilos or Ye Shen Bai Bai Gong Jing with just two fingers. And I did want to see a higher number, but maybe it's because the crabs could tell that they weren't grabbing onto an actual threat, so they didn't want to squeeze as hard as they could. So I decided to move on to the ballistic fingers to see what damage they would do, but first had to get the crabs to let go of the scale. He's strong, eh? I, like, literally, I'm pulling as hard as I can and I cannot get that And open. you're very strong. I'm a very strong man, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Something? Is he no. opening? No, that was my pliers. Let me just... <laughs> Your pliers is break. Well, you reckon he'll crack this bone? Oh, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's... Oh, he's pissed off. This one's... All right, should I give him? Give him a finger? Do you want to get him out to get a clearer shot? Mate? Yeah. Oh! oh it's fast. Yeah, he's getting psycho. How do you even grab him? Come on. Oh! Oh! So he's biting down? He's biting down. Going for it? Oh, oh wait, has he gone all the he's gone no, all he's the way? No, he's touching. He's he's gone all the way oh, through. Trade his fingers. Oh does my this, does god! This happen? You never do the yeah, finger. Yeah, that'll happen. That will happen. And the ballistic gel isn't holding up very well. And the crab managed to get through the flesh and down to the bone in a second. Then, just like a real finger, the flesh nicely degloved. Oh! Oh, oh my god! What did he? Well, he's degloved. And I reckon this flesh isn't accurate, as the crabs seem to slice through this like butter. It would be a good narrative. <laughs> <laughs> he just chopped through it like spider, man. Watch this. Watch this. That's f***ed. That doesn't make any sense. There's the no way that's real. Released, so we tried another one in the hope that we could get it to snap the bone. There we go, let go. No, he's trying to eat it. Oh, he was. <laughs> so if we go over to this guy. I want to shit. Hey! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Elbow oh, from the sky. Hey. He's playing dumb. 
Jesus, man. Boy, this one's he's psycho. Back alive, or should we give him another finger? Oh, there, there we go. Oh, he's tight. He's yeah, locked he's onto this. He's locked onto the pliers. Oh, he's going for another one. Look at this. He's going for the pliers, man. I can't get the pliers out. There we go. I mean, he completely ripped the... Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh! Oh! No, I heard the snap. I heard the snap. Yeah, I heard that too. That was loud. Oh! Yeah. Oh, my God. What the f***? <laughs> oh, get away from him. He's going to try to get he your other finger. That. And even though I do want this to be true, I don't think these bones are as strong as real finger bones. Also, most annoyingly, the crabs still seem to know that these aren't real fingers and don't seem to be clenching that hard. They are too focused on trying to nip us. So, after a group discussion, we decided that one of us had to put their finger in. Just the palm, do here. That's where I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go across there. How do you reckon we get them to let go? Just wait? Pliers. Yeah, we'll pliers open. Now, I just had to pick which crab I would like to get mutilated by. He's got the nicer claw there. I feel like, just I'm worried about the curve on that one. No, the, the thing is though, I don't know why I'm looking, there's no nice option. Exactly. Yeah, 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 try to find the best crab to bite you. Look, I've had many people attacked by these and um, watched <laughs> a lot of people in. Dude, their faces are so nasty. Look, it's like, and then you guys are like, Hassan, why don't you like fucking sea critters? Like, look at this look shit. Off. It's like out of a nightmare, dude. It, they're cute. Okay. Some of you motherfuckers need to reevaluate everything you know. Because honestly, you're out of your minds, okay? You're, you're in, that's not cute, dude. That's not cute at all. You need to really reconsider everything. Russian 9-11 happened. A drone crashed into a high-rise building. That's not a 9-11, man. Seems like a baby 9-11. You and mud crabs have the same kind of cuteness. I am significantly. I had more many cute. people attacked by. You really telling me? Underestimate the number of people in your audience that work as marine biologists for a living, dude. From software has <clears throat> many creatures that are terrifying, right? They didn't add anything to the mud crabs. They just made them larger. That should tell you something. They didn't even have to, like, make it scarier. They just made the fucking mud crab larger. By these and um, washed a lot of people in a lot of pain. And um, I think your best option is just get in there and then get out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Shake his hand, introduce yourself, <laughs> and um, because if he likes you, he'll let go. <laughs> I just say, Hello, my name is Alex. That's it, just hand straight in there. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what hand you shake to him, it doesn't matter. So well, the thing is, when I put my hand, this other claw is coming back around yeah, there. Yeah, because they usually, well, it's a custom for them as well. They like, like double hand shakes, hands, double hand shakes, so yeah. it makes sense. So I'll hold him. You come in there, stick and shake his hand. Straight there. I might hold this one so I can. Oh, you want just... to do this one? Yeah. I was going to hold this one. You're going to hold that one? Yeah, I'll hold this. Oh. I'm one? telling you now, the smaller ones hurt than the more than the bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. You recording? Yeah. <coughs> do it, pussy. I mean, it's a bit of a spoiler because they were here after they shot this video and their hands were intact. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. I can't do it. Oh, you were so close. You were there! Fuck. I saw it happening. Uh, it's gonna... What if I'm lying to you and they shot this after the fact? What if I'm lying to you and they shot this after the fact? That's why they had to leave early. And I just wanted to take away the suspense for no reason. Just to debate you and have it be much worse when it actually happens. Okay, Come on! I'll just film Alex's face. Come on! Yeah, and you film down there. Come on! You can do it. Oh my... 
Let's do it. Oh. It looks just like the devil on your shoulder. He's dressed so just ridiculously. Do it! <laughs> do it! <laughs> oh. Go! In there! Oh. Just put it in! Put it in and close your eyes. Like you have the pies handy to. I see why they had to take the guns away from the Aussies now. You know what? That is so fucking right, dude. That is so fucking right. Imagine a country that does stuff like this for fun, and then they have guns too. I mean, America is basically like this. To be fair, America is basically like this with guns, and that's why it's really bad. I'll do it if you do it. I'll do uh, it yeah, if yeah. you do it. If you do it, I'll do it. Why is this so hard? I told you. Why the f is hard? I've done so much dumbest. Well, yes. there you go. This is nothing. Done. Okay, you ready? Uh, Say the line I'm and hold your hand there because I'll put it straight on. Say the line. <laughs> Get your hand out. <laughs> no, I tried for probably an hour to put my hand in the mud crab's claw, but I just couldn't do it. You, if you put your cock in there, <laughs> if you put your cock in there, I'll put my hand in there. I think that's it. That's if it. you do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Say the line and hold your hand there because I'll put it straight up. He's saying, fing, I'll put the blue myelin in there. No, no, I'm not going to put the fing blue myelin in there. Say the line. Get your hand out. <laughs> okay. Here's an alternative. What if they do this because they don't have guns? Like, if they had guns to keep them occupied, they would then use it, like, guns would save them. Guns would technically save Australia because how many people die due to crab attacks every year in Australia, right? How many? They go out, they go mudding, they go out looking for cribs they go out looking for birds emus emus just saying imagine if they had guns they wouldn't have to go out and do this kind of shit. they'd be fucking dead they're leaving us here in the mangroves if you don't do it you do it <sighs> gotta say the line Hi, Mr. Crab. I'm Alexa. It's nice to meet you. Oh, fuck. Let the crab go. No, 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 he's gonna get, no, he's gonna get me with the other one. Don't let him go, don't let him go. Let the crab go, Alex! Don't let him, oh, he's fuck. Ah, Okay, you gotta tell us. Can someone get it off? I hang on, hang on, you gotta tell us. No, no. You gotta tell us how much pain do you put out of 10? What is it? It's the worst handshake I've ever had. It's the. And, ah, 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 he, he gets angry. Don't, don't move, don't move the other hand, because the more you move that one, the more this one goes. Right, but if right, I let go of this okay. hand. All right, so basically. No, don't, 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 don't give me another. Ah, 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 okay, now that's bad. He's pitching real hard I'm now. I'm not going to give you this one. Let no, go. No, you are. I promise Just take you, it off. Just take I promise it off. I'm holding him. I'm holding him. It's fine. Okay, so what we want to do is. Ah, ah, f it up. Actually, f Okay, hang on. No, no, don't, don't take it off. Don't take it off. Don't take it off. No, 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 no. Should I get something? <laughs> He said he literally thought at this point that he would, like, that, you know, it was ir ir stuff. irrecoverable. No, no, please, please, please. No, it's actually... <laughs> okay, I've yeah, done you, it. You I've done it. Get the pliers. This is, it's, okay, it's let's get the pliers. Worse, worse. Yeah, yeah, put okay. this in there. It's getting worse and worse. Oh. Just make sure you hold this guy. Oh. Ah. Ah. Numb. Ah. Handcuffed for the constable. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. He was releasing a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. I have to go back across put the bridge. Him, put him down. Put him down. No. No, that's how he's no. released. But then the other hand might grab you. Put him down. Just oh, no, watch you so much harder. No, he'll let go. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want that. Either. Yeah. No. <laughs> so he, just, just try it. Try it again. Yeah, try yeah. it again. Should try. we? Yeah, let's get that in there. Try it again. That. Look at that angle. Oh, he's so deep in me. Mother. Oh! 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 Oh my god. It's like it's it's the what the fuck? 
How is he not bleeding? I don't really understand. That looks so bad. Oh, he's up. Oh, oh he can't put the pliers in there. I'm <laughs> 66 pounds of force on such a small area is no fucking joke. On top of that, it's also like teeth. Think about it. Low surface area on top of like, it's a pinch, but it's also being pinched with like, literally, uh, like teeth. Very, very, very small surface area. It's serrated. Yeah. Oh. Shock with this. <laughs> You yeah. Can go? yeah, slowly. Get, get, ah. get out of there. I, this is the worst. Man. Oh. Mm. Oh. I should pull. Fucking that. Why did they? Why did they skip four minutes? Like it's the top of the hour or something. You know what I mean? Except at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. If you want to know how this resolves, whether or not Alexa loses a hand or not. Oh, and then all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or free with a Twitch Prime, baby. That's right, because at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, that's all you need to do. You need to subscribe. <sighs> Someone is dying, Asan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he came to your house, did he still have the crab on his hand? Uh, this is after. This happened after he came to my house. So... We don't know what happens here. And he hasn't told me, so. Or maybe he did, but I'm not telling you. If they close the claw on the other side, it usually releases the claw that is closed on the hand slash finger. Really? All as well? Not, nah, oh. Did you let go? Oh! They can't, ooh, that got worse. They can't, they can't kill the crab. Because if they if they kill the crab, it maxes out, I guess, on the grip or something, and and it's just stuck. This kills the crab. <laughs> Come on, get, 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 get him off! Oh, oh babe, oh. dude, oh. dude. <laughs> It didn't even break the skin. <laughs> That's so good. So there you go. It turns out mud crabs can't cut off your finger. And they probably have enough strength through it, but their claws are designed to pinch and grab, not cut. I cannot believe after all that, you're more scared of the bridge. I bet you it's easier if you remove its claw, not harder. Did you let a crab grab you near your pinky ring placement? Fuck no, absolutely not. No, he was saying, okay, so for the record, this video was shot, uh, obviously before he just needed to shoot extra parts. Uh, that's why I had to go back, but he talked about it on stream guys. They talked about it on stream. Remember? I don't know why half the chat does not remember that they literally talked about all this, um, including the other claws designed for cutting though. They picked up the crushing claw, not the cutting claw. Wait, really? Do they have two different ones? Anyway, regardless, um, what they said was if you kill the crab, if you actually end up killing the crab, it's, uh, it gets stuck and it's even harder to take off. Like it gets locked. I don't know why. Also, it turns out Alexa's pain wasn't necessary, as Willem already has a couple of videos doing exactly this. Like this one, where this tradie puts two mud crabs on a single finger and didn't get any real injuries. But that's not to say there can't be serious injuries, and Willem waited until after Alexa put the crab on his hand to tell me this, but it turns out some people that have been bit by mud crabs have lost limbs. 
and not from the force of the claws, but from infection. And I don't know why we didn't think of this, as obviously if you dig something out of this disgusting primordial soup and then let it stab through your skin, you're going to get all sorts of crazy bacteria into your body, like Vibrio vulnificus, which has caused many amputations and even killed people. But luckily Alexa doesn't know this, and I'm not going to tell him. I'll just make a video if he dies. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, your claws can still bite even if they're removed. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't mention that. <laughs> they can even regrow their claws. Wait, what? That seems like too much, honestly. Magnificent Muddy. Wish in Australia, Department of Fisheries. Green mud crab, brown mud crab, has one small blunt spine or no spines at all. Claws a lot brownish, orange colored. Claw spines have reduced their blunt prominences. It's got lobes, long narrow lobes between the eyes. Walking legs, walking legs, my very faint pattern on the legs. Fucking hell. The ads ended. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. That's why the, the vibe has shifted a lot. A vast lock grip. Hunt crabs can be fast and strong and their big claws can make catching them extremely dangerous. Once locked on, a claw will remain in a vice-like grip even if it's been detached from the animal. Take precautions when handling a mud crab. Wear a heavy-duty glove. Use tongs or distract the claws with a stick. Mud crabs use their claws to defend themselves and will even shed a claw to escape. In many cases, a new fully functional claw will grow back. That's crazy. Look at this one, a Japanese spider claw. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. That is fucking nastiness, dude. No thank you, man. No thanks.